what is up everybody welcome or welcome back to the channel i'm super pumped today because we just wrapped an 11 day project out in louisiana called lavaca farm and i thought to myself there is a lot of really great information that i could share with you guys about the making of this project so today we're going to talk about how i shot this the gear i used and the creative direction for the project but most importantly what storytelling techniques motivated these shots because remember good documentary filmmaking and storytelling isn't just about the cinematography and trendy b-roll that you shoot for a project it is about good storytelling and that is what i want to talk about first we wanted the intro to take a moment and invite the audience in and really talk about the history of the dish and what it was used for and what it what it symbolizes to her and her family so because of that it felt like these cinematic slow motion shots were motivated for the scene it wasn't like we were trying to force it in these beauty shots could help tell and drive the story that we were introducing in the very beginning of this project the next thing that i want to talk about is the lighting for the scene we wanted to make it feel like there was a lot of natural beautiful daylight coming through the windows and you were kind of like just in the kitchen with her so the first light that we added was an aperture 300d mark ii with a light dome and a honeycomb grid and we angled it at about 45 degrees from our subject accentuating the natural light coming in from the window the next light that we added was an aperture 120d for a backlight slash fill light and depending on the shot we might have adjusted the light or moved it around to either act more as a fill light or a backlight now we're getting into the gear and the settings i shot all of these scenes on my ursa mini pro 12k at 4k 120 fps and at a five to one compression rate. The lens I used was a Sigma 50 millimeter prime at about a 1.8 to a 2.2 f-stop, depending on what I was doing with the shot. For shots that I was pushing in and I was doing kind of more movement, I would leave it at around 2.8. Standing still, or I was just kind of framing up and acting more of like a static shot, I would drop it down to about a 1.4. Now the Sigma Art 50 millimeter is by far my favorite lens that I own. And the reason being is because you get such sharpness and you could drop the f-stop all the way down to a 1.4 and you get a really really nice bokeh in the background and that's what i use on all of this cinematic b-roll the last thing that i want to talk about is shot composition and this is extremely important and this is why i love shooting on the easy rig you can very easily frame up your shot and adjust quickly on the fly without having to set up a tripod or a reframe the easy rig is super simple you just have it ahead of you you're able to adjust it quick on the fly so i was able to get a lot of these shots very quickly and move around the kitchen and get different composition that i was trying to achieve now if you notice most of my shots are at eye level to whatever action or object she's using in the scene and there's actually two reasons for this the first one is that it allows for more depth because you're filming a larger background that's further away the second reason is that the shot just looks more interesting if you shoot with the camera angle more down and it's kind of above the object like in this shot right here it's okay but there's a lot less depth because we're just shooting right into a bowl whereas if you notice that these shots have a larger background there's more going on in the background and because i'm at such a low aperture it's like completely blurry and it gives a lot of depth which ultimately creates a more interesting and pleasing shot now obviously shooting into this bowl was part of the story and that's why we did it but if you look at the difference in the angle that we're using in the other shots it's very clear which angle is better the last tip and probably the most important tip for the cinematography of this scene was shooting toward the light now i have a whole video on this breaking down down this concept way more in depth and if you guys want to take a look at this i'll leave the link right here but pretty much the goal is to shoot your subject or object against the light so it creates a backlighting effect making your shots a lot more interesting than if you were to just shoot them front lit and if you notice all of these shots have that in common i shot everything on the dark side of the object or the subject in the frame giving more depth and character to my shots so that is it for this video let me know guys if you want me to break down the editing portion of this scene going over the whole editing process the music choice the color grading all of that stuff just let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching guys my name is alex Arfati. please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one deuces